Hey everybody, it's the last chapter. We did it, the final chapter of Magic Treehouse Afternoon on the Amazon. Jack and Annie found what they were looking for. It was a mysterious red fruit that the monkey kept throwing at them. And they are now on their way home back to Frog Creek, Pennsylvania. They just pointed in the book and wished to go there. And we think the magic worked. So let's read chapter 10, halfway there. And here's the end of our story. Squeak! Jack opened his eyes. Peanut was on the tree house windowsill. We're home, said Annie. Whew, Jack breathed a sigh of relief. Annie held up the fruit to the afternoon light. What exactly is this? She asked. Maybe it's in the book, Jack answered. He pulled out the rainforest book. He flipped through the pages and he came to a picture of the red fruit. Here it is, he said, and he read aloud. The mango has a sweet taste like that of a peach. Mango, hmm. Have you ever had a mango before? I have, and I thought it was really yummy. Hmm. She brought the fruit close to her lips. Hey! said Jack, grabbing the mango from her. We have to put it with the moonstone. Jack placed the mango on the M carved into the floor next to the clear moonstone. Moonstone? Mango? Hmm, thought Annie. It sounded like a spell. We're halfway there, said Jack. Two more to go. Oh, okay, so they found two things. They found the moonstone and the mango, and they have to get four. So they have two out of their four. Four. Two more to go. Then we can free you, Morgan. Annie called as if Morgan was nearby. How do you know she can hear you? said Jack. Oh, I just feel it, said Annie. Oh, brother, said Jack. He needed more proof than that. Squeak! Peanut was looking at Jack and Annie. We have to leave you now, Jack said to the mouse. Squeak! Can't we take her with us? said Annie. No, said Jack. Mom won't let us keep a mouse in the house. She doesn't like mice, remember? So there's the M on the floor of their magic tree house. And I can see in this picture they have the moonstone, which was from the story uh, that we haven't read yet, but you could maybe read that one. And then here is the mango from our story that they got. So they have two objects. Oh, you can see Peanut right there, too. How could anyone not like a mouse, said Annie. Jack smiled. How could anyone not like a spider, he said. That's different. Annie patted Peanut's head. Bye, she said. Wait for us here. We'll be back tomorrow. Jack patted the mouse, too. Bye, Peanut. Thanks for your help, he said. Jack put the rainforest book on top of the book about ninjas. Then he pulled on his backpack and he and Annie left the treehouse. They climbed down the rope ladder and they stepped into the ground. They started walking through the Frog Creek woods. Leaf shadows da danced in the light. A bird called out. These woods are very different from the rainforest, thought Jack. There are no jaguars or army ants here, he said. No little monkeys. You know, that monkey was never being mean, said Annie. He was just trying to give us the mango. I know. Actually, nothing was being mean, said Jack. The army ants were just marching. That's what army ants do. And the piranhas were just being piranhas, said Annie. And the snake was just being the snake, said Jack. The crocodile was just being a crocodile, said Annie. And the jaguar was just taking care of her baby, said Jack. Annie shuddered. Whew, I still don't love bugs, she said. You don't have to love them, said Jack. Just have to leave them alone and they won't bother you. In fact, that's true about the whole rainforest, Jack thought. Everyone should just leave it all alone. Who cares if the bugs don't have names, he said softly. They know who they are. Jack and Annie stepped out of the Frog Creek woods. They started walking up their street. It was lit with a golden light. 
race you, said Annie, and they took off running. They ran across their yard. They raced, they raced up their steps. Safe, they shouted together, tagging their front door. And friends, that is the end of Magic Treehouse Afternoon on the Amazon. Awesome job, friends. In the back here, there is a map that I'm taking a look at. And it is rainforest around the world. So it has a key down here, which says if it's shaded gray like this, this is where tropical rainforests are. I'm seeing tropical rainforests in South America, Central America, Africa, and Asia. A little in Australia. Pretty cool. So there's lots of rainforests, not just the Amazon rainforest. But there's a lot. Awesome. All right, well, friends, thanks for reading this story with me. I hope you had a good time listening. I really, really liked it. And maybe I'll have to read another Magic Tree House. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye.